Christ, Selassie, I, Marcus Garvey, I, and his journey to the ancestors. But who that? And book liberator, Rasimo, him not start. Yes, he was a natural and mystic and he did fast. Greetings. My name is Zakia Zebuja. This documentary is about the making of the album, The Great Book Liberator, an album profiling the story of a Rasta man who stood up for truth and rights, freedom and justice, a Rasta man who challenged the Babylon system. He challenged the British monarchy, church and state. Russ Seymour said, it's a sacrilege to enter an empire by force and steal from a church. This is the main reason Russ Seymour was on a mission to restore the wealth and knowledge stolen from the African continent. My last sighting of Russ Seymour McLean was in Wandsworth, the area where he lived in South London, September 2014. This is when he told me he had cancer. Meanwhile, a couple of days later, Keaty Ruth visited Doors of Return Studio. While he was there, I played him a recording of an interview with Russ Seymour McLean, which was made in 1998 as part of my coursework while studying for a diploma in media. Tonight's program is about the half that's never been told. A story of the Rusters and the Royals. A tale featuring dreadlocks men and women running a campaign in South London. When we played the interview, it seemed as though Russ Seymour vibes filled the room with a strong energy. Kitty Root said, it feels like I know Russ Seymour, yet I have never met him. Welcome to the show, Seymour. Your campaign is to return the stolen treasures taken from Ethiopia. Meanwhile, I flew to Jamaica. It was then I learned of Russ Seymour's passing, which was on October the 6th, 2014. Before I learned of his passing, I felt his energy. And he said, many great ones have walked the earth doing great things, but no one remembered their names. I changed my plans and arrived back to London in time for his send-off. Two days later, after his send-off, I woke up with Russ Seymour's voice resonating in me saying, Come make the album! Immediately, I started to write down names as though the pen was writing for me. Names of artists. I wrote L16, Joy Mack, Russ Maccabee, Dixie Peach, Bionic Rona, Kitty Roots, African Simba. I felt a high. I felt excited. I called Kitty Roots and told him of my plan. Kitty Roots said, yeah, I'm in. This is a worthy project. The Book Liberator project was born. Now there was work to be done. We upgraded Doors of Return Studio to accommodate the various artists. Meanwhile, Keaty Root started on his contribution of the music at Black Legacy Studio. The first of the artists featured on the album that I approached was Empress Joy Mack. Let me tell you a story about a last man who tried brand creation down here in Babylon. When I approached Joy Mack and told her of the project, she responded and said, You have a vibe. For last night, I was just writing a song about Russ Seymour. For Russ Seymour, I'm a close bedroom. All I need is a beautiful track. She told me Russ Seymour gave her documents that he liberated from the British Library and that she must sing about the Battle of Adua, Mary's Prayer, 
and other important subjects in the documents. Kitty Roots produced a great track that suited her perfectly. She attended Black Legacy Studio to complete the work. The song titled Hero. I remember Joy saying to me that Russ Seymour gave her a trophy and honoured her with the name Queen of Naya Bingi. Joy to me was a sister, a friend, a mother and a teacher. May Empress Joy Mack rest in peace in Zion with the ancestors. Dixie Peach. I approached Dixie Peach and told him of the project. He said, Russ Seymour, yes, he was a great man. He gave me documents that he liberated from the British Library and told me to sing the contents. Originally, I gave Dixie Peach a Nyambingi track. Two days later, he phoned me and said, Zakia, I have a great idea. I will sing the chorus and you do the chanting on the verses. On arrival at Doors of Return Studio, Dixie Peach was ready for action as a true professional. Kitty Roots recorded him. He sounded so sweet. We advised him to finish the whole track. But he was adamant. The duo vibes was the right thing. So we went ahead. Now it's my turn to do the work. When I entered the booth, lyrics just flooded out of my mouth. It was one straight tick. somehow Russ Seymour was guiding me. When we listened back to the track, our lyrics synchronized together perfectly. We decided to leave the track unedited. The whole experience was quite mystical. It was though Russ Seymour was present with us. The song is entitled Soldiers of Rastafari. My part was profiling the Battle of Adiwa. Dub mixes by Young Warrior, son of Jashak. African Simba. African Simba and told him of the project. He responded, Russ Simba, yeah. He gave me some documents and remembered Russ Simba saying to him, Kin's language over the Queen's language. The Kin Emperor Haile Selassie I language being Hamaric. Now it's recording time. African Simba is a very experienced DJ. He can ride a rhythm very well. I wanted a heavy stepper's track for Simba and Kitty Roots produced the perfect track for him. He performed the song live at Doors of Return, Russ Seymour tribute show at the Hootenanny. The song entitled Ja Love, dub mixes by Young Warrior, Son of Jashan. 
give Jaja thanks and praise his name not always. I say, it's the perfect turn now. Ricky Stepper. Rastafari, Selassie, Marcus Gavi, and his journey to the ancestors. When I would have a book you greater, Rastimo, give him a step. When I approached Ricky Stepper and informed him of the project, he said Russ Seymour advised him that the works he is studying as a radio TV engineer would be very important in Africa. He went on to say that Russ Seymour gave him documents that he had liberated from the British Library. He also advised him to learn Amharic, the Ethiopian language. Ricky attended Doors of Return studio for the recording session. While I was recording Stepper, I was disturbed by some interference, strange noises. I checked all the equipment and couldn't identify the problem. One spirit said to me, let me go and check the booth. I may see Ricky Stepper skanking to the tune. I said, Ricky, you can't do this while recording. He got angry and said, what do you mean? Me can't dance? Sure. The vibes were so deep in there and he was fired up. He proceeded to voice the song in one tech perfectly. The song entitled Natural Mystic, produced by Kitty Roots and Zakia Zebuja at Doors of the Turn Studio. Ras Puba. Rasimo McLean. Kepler Memphis Kedos. Servant of the Holy Spirit. It's not what you believe, it's all about what you do. When I approach Ras Puba and reasoned with him about the project, immediately he said, I would love to contribute a track. Be more. Be more. Your brother man like Seymour The way you are fight for a leader and a man God never lazy work hard He was happy to share with me That Russ Seymour was his mentor Russ Boba was part of the next generation Of Rasta youths around the millennium time Russ Seymour was proud of him As he dressed in royal gowns To represent his culture Russ Boba explained to me that Russ Seymour gave him documents and advised him to learn Amharic. For Russ Boba, I felt the vibes of an artist named Natural Black would suit his style. However, every time I searched for the track, the real rock rhythm would appear. Eventually, I asked Kitty Roots to rebuild that track, and no surprise, it was already previously done. Russ Boba was happy to record that particular track, as it was Russ Seymour's favourite. When Russ Boba attended Doors of Return Studio, I asked him to recite his lyrics. The moment he said, do more, be more. I felt excited. I said, Boba, enter the booth. The whole experience of the session was great. The harmonies were performed by Sister Joseph, song entitled, Do More, Be More. Do more, be more. Teach your brother man like Seymour. The way you are fight for a leader and a vanguard. Never lazy work hard. Kitty Roots. As Kitty Roots is a multi-talented Two singer, songwriter, as well as a musician and producer, I decided to ask him to contribute a song to the project. He embarked on the task. 
and inspired by the works of Russ Seymour, he wrote a tribute song entitled True Born Rastaman. He was a true born African. Yeah. A patriotic Ethiopian. Oh, yeah. A strong Rastaman who stood up with truth and right. Yeah. Empress Storm. Whilst on my travels, I came across Empress Storm. I asked her, have you heard of Rassimo McLean? She replied and said, Rassimo? Yeah, he gave me documents about Mary's prayer and advised her that she should sing about Mary. She informed me that she had already written a song and that she needed a chat for it. In previous years, I had worked with Bongo Asha, Nomadics. I approached him and reasoned with him about the project. He agreed to make a contribution and produce a track at Doors of Return Studio, song entitled Mary's Prayer. It was such an honor for Maccabee to be part of this project. Many times Africa get looted and raped, like Magdala, Ethiopia in 1868. Them rap church and grave, but one man exposed them thieving ways. Arasimo, the book liberator, him one return the books to Ethiopia. Rasimo, liberator of the book, them retrieve the stolen book, them from the crook there. <laughs> He is one of my all-time favorite DJs. It's amazing how he is able to express social commentary and world events with humor through his songs. Maccabee said when I approached him, Yeah man, Rossimo was a powerful man. He made sure our spiritual and cultural education was returned back to the African community through the documents he retrieved. Kiti Roots produced an excellent track and Maccabee recorded his voice at his own Chilio studio. Song entitled Rasimo. Bionic Rona I approach Bionic Rona as I always see her doing community work with young people. Also, she was a good friend of mine. She always gave me encouragement when I was starting out on my musical journey. Rona and Russ Seymour were both prominent and active members of the community. The last time we met, we reasoned on what it means to achieve. Unfortunately, Rona passed away before being able to record her song for the project. To honour her, her version of her favourite song, The Greatest Love of All, written by Muhammad Ali, was created by Kitty Roots. I approached her son, Dwayne G.T. Baker, to sing the song in her place, centering on the subject. You achieve. can achieve with education. You can achieve with no dedication. You can achieve in yourself. Empress, just believe me. Tell them. I also featured some young people on the track in her memory, as she loved to work with young people. The young people featuring on the track are named Trinity and Naya Bruce and Sinead Barton. Song entitled Achieve. With hard, hard work, you can achieve with perseverance. 
you can achieve with self work. You can achieve in a yourself, you man. Just believe me, tell them. Salutation to the Bingy Man, Rassi Moore McLean from the Ethiopian World Federation. Rest in Zion. Er 16. When I approached L16 about the project, he spoke very passionately about Russ Seymour. They used to attend the EWF organization together, which stands for Ethiopian World Federation. L16 decided to voice a Naya Bingi track to honor Russ Seymour, as they love the Naya Bingi vibes. He agreed to make a contribution without hesitation. He attended Doors of Return Studio and completed the works. I added flutes to the track to give more flavor to an already spiritual vibe. The track was produced by Kitty Root and Zakia Zebuja, song entitled Righteous Way. With the corner of You can never go to Zion With the corner of mine Raskuntus One morning, I woke up with a name in my mind that sounded like Punta Quinte I asked around for such an artist Someone said, yes there is a man named Russ Kultus who makes heavyweight dubs and writes and performs powerful black consciousness lyrics. I search and eventually tracked him down. Having a conversation with him, I soon realized he had the right vibes to be part of the project. You think you could have really get away? You came into my land and you stole the legacy of my people, people, people. When Russ Kuntus realized that Joy Mack was part of the project, he was excited to get involved, as he and Joy had a history of working together on community projects attending Rasta Bingi celebrations. Ross Quintus travelled from Birmingham to London to attend Doors of Return studio for the voicing session. On attendance, he met Jonah Dan, who was filming and was playing the Kete drums. Ross Quintus recorded a deep lyrics profiling the atrocities perpetrated by the European colonial powers in Africa. His performance brought the seriousness of colonialism alive. It was an honor to have such a powerful vibration on the project. The song went on to be a duet between Rascontas and Joy Mack. Her part of the song was called African Cry. The track was produced by Zakia Zebuja, recorded in Jamaica at High Wave Studio La Grill, song entitled The So You Get With Us. Seymour McLean. Russ Seymour McLean, who this album is in memory of, was the first artist to record on Doors of Return Studio way back in 2011 when I was working on Tony Williams radio station Rhythm 365. I approached Russ Seymour and asked him if he could do some jingles for me for my radio show. Those that know Russ Seymour, if you ask him to speak of his works, he will require a lot of time. So vast was his knowledge. 
For the jingle, he recited the Ethiopian alphabet and numbers. Seymour loved to chat on the mic DJ style without music. In order to have Russ Seymour featuring on the album, Keechi Roos had to edit one of his acapellas and create music for it. Prior to this, when I was attending college studying popular music, I was working on a bass line. Seymour heard the bass line and started DJing a lyric about the scramble for Africa by the European colonial invaders. He said to me, one day, create a rugger beat using this bass line, not too much instruments as my voice will carry the sound. I created the bass line and use it on Russ Seymour's tune, song entitled The Book Liberator. The song was produced by Zakia Zebuja and Kitty Roots at Doors of Return Studio. Now it's time for the album cover to be created. Kwamina Arts. Kwamina is a very talented visual artist. When I approached him, he told me of the document Russ Seymour passed on to him. He felt the gratitude of the work passing on the legacy. I commissioned him to create an artwork with Russ Seymour sitting on a horse in a regal manner, adorned with colourful garments and flying the flag of Ethiopia at the Battle of Adiwa, which was excellently painted. Jonah Dan. Jonah Dan also played a major role on Doors of Return project with his many talents. He captured the whole atmosphere and filmed and edited and met the lifeline. He recorded on tracks and performed on live shows with his Kete drum. We worked in the community by filming the British Library and Albert and Victoria Museum. He came to the youth club and filmed the youth while I worked on the project to rise up the youths. At the live shows, Jonah Dan played with the drums of Rastafari, capturing the spiritual vibes of Naya Bingo. Young Warrior. When I approach Young Warrior about the project, he informed me that he met Russ Seymour on several occasions while growing up. He explained to me that he knew that Russ Seymour was very important because he had this natural mystic about him. Russ Seymour always wore his red, golden green tam and conducted many of the Nyambingi gatherings that his parents took him to. Young Warrior mixed two tracks at Doors of Return Studio with African Simba, Dixie Peach and Zakia Zebuja. The mixes were done in a warrior style. And about my own track on the album, I felt it was my duty to let Russ Seymour's name live on. He done so many great works for the African community and his name should be honoured amongst the ancestors as one of our great heroes. His prime goal was to rise up the Africans at home and abroad and inspire the children to grow strong in their indigenous culture. He wanted to restore our spiritual and cultural education and hence the reason why he embarked on his mission to retrieve the stolen African manuscripts and artifacts. 
The song that I wrote is based on Russ Seymour's teaching about the rising of the youths. Kitu is produced a version of the Studio One lecture rhythm. Song entitled Rise Up. Don't fall down to wicked Babylon, no. Because Chacha had the ruler. We don't fall down to wicked Babylon, no. We have to stand up like a stronger. To commemorate Russ Seymour's life and works, Doors of Return started promoting a yearly live show at the Hootenanny Bricks. Come, let me rise up. This is the time for education. Come, let me rise up in a this year time of liberation. Come, let me rise up. Judge and know this the right direction. This has been a celebration bringing the community together in oneness. It has been an honor to work with so many talented and professional people. I would like to thank the children of Rusty McLean, Cecil Rubin for supplying the Huitinani venue, Rise Up the Artist Band for the live shows, Big Up Sister Joseph, Val Irie, and Empress Jareen for harmonies on the live shows and rise up to Trevor Maypen for the live video support Sally Sprint for the printing support and to everyone who supported and attended our live shows Isaac Yuzebija aka Doors of Return the creator and executive producer for this project would like to give thanks to our ancestors for guidance and protection. We don't fall down to wicked Babylon, no. Because Chacha had the ruler. We don't fall down to wicked Babylon, no. We have to stand up like a stronger. We don't fall down to wicked Babylon, no. We have to think about the future. We don't fall down to wicked Babylon, no. Education. Come, let me rise up in a this year time of liberation. Come, let me rise up, judge and notice the right direction. Come, let me rise up in a this year time of liberation. Je m'assure